The picture is a different one on the sister isle. The island's economy has been placed under considerable strain. Many of the 600 people that are employed by the Barbuda Council are no longer working a five-day work week. It's now down to three, as the council struggles to meet wage and salary payments. The government's subvention, according to Chairman of the Barbuda Council, David Shaw, is not enough. In terms of the economic situation with the Barbuda Council, it's a challenge. And um, as you've been hearing over the past months, that um, we are really going to a crisis per se where um, the economy is concerned. I mean, to the point where we have to actually reduce the work week from an ordinary uh, normal 40 hours to 24 hours so as to, to, to make things work a kind of way. The Paradise Found development has not been greeted with the type of defiance that's synonymous with the reaction of Barbudans to any project that threatens to compromise their hold on their lands. Far from it. As a matter of fact, most persons, despite the protests over here in Antigua, have not raised issue with the development. Yep. I think so, yeah. It can be better. It can't get no worse than this right now. I tell you, it can only get better. And with the project, I think that, yeah, People feel much better off, you know, work for people, yeah. Ease the council, you know, the weight off of the council. Because right now everybody work for the council, you know. The council can't even pay everybody. I think this is something that all Barbados, just, just forget about the party politics as for a while and just think where we are today, where can this project take us? It can't take us backward. There is no way you have zero money in your economy and one dollar a come in your economy. He have to make a big difference. Andy Lieberd reporting for ABS News.